absolute joke. So, lethal injection has crushed the revolution in less than a week. <laughs> it took God a whole week to make Earth and mankind, and we didn't even break a sweat or lift a finger to get rid of you. Well, maybe I did lift one finger. <laughs> you see, pure athlete, you like to complain, you like to whine a lot. But how in the hell can we do a loser leaves DWI match when you've already left and came back? You've already reneged on that one. So as far as I'm concerned, you have absolutely no credibility. So I think I say request denied on the basis of your own hypocritical actions. You can't be trusted to keep your word. So you've buried yourself even before all of this got started. You see, you want to put out a promo. You want to call out the game, the doc. You even want to throw Kempo Kid in there. You know, maybe we should make you have to win a Tornado 3 on 1. But as I've said before, everybody wants to blame me as the bad guy. So maybe I don't want the responsibility for being the one to pin your ass and be blamed for wiping you out of the DWI. Then I'm the bad guy, even though you're the one who's asking for an ass kicking. So you can ask and you can cry like a petulant little child, but you should get denied because you can't behave. You see, the fact is that you've already left and you've sat on the sidelines. So what the hell does a loser leave match mean to you anyway? Nothing. It's only been a week's time and your stupid little project has failed. Your revolution has been crushed. So maybe it is time for you to just give up. Be a jobber to the stars. Get your spot on the lower end of the card and be happy to be jerking the curtain. You forget that the game and the doc were triple crown champions. We don't listen to jobber chumps. We don't listen to someone who held the sharpshooter title as a gift because no one of quality competed and the best shooters didn't even bother with it at the time. And since that point you've done absolutely nothing. You've beat no one. You quit after winning the jobber belt and it was the only belt that you really ever earned. You go away you come back with absolutely no standing, no accolades, except for being a former jobber champion. You fail with your little school project, your revolution has been grounded before it could even get started, and now you think that you can call out the DWI world champion, and then have the audacity to try to make a match stipulation that you've already reneged on before? It's pathetic. No credibility, no trust, enough said. But you know what, pure athlete? That's just one man's opinion. You see, I've been talking with Doc Zilla. And I've tried to talk him down on this, but he's having none of it. So, on behalf of Lethal Injection, on behalf 
of the dock, the often imitated but never duplicated, one of the kings of bling, he accepts your little loser leaves DWI match. And you know what, pure athlete? Just like the stupid little virus that you tried to send through the DWI, the doc, he's going to scan you, defrag you, put you into quarantine, and then we're going to push the damn reboot button. And we are going to wipe your miserable ass right out of the D.W.I.